Capricorn, this month is a very transformative one for you, perhaps where you are breaking out of a shell or coming into your own in some way. Really looking at the astrology, we also see some potential for growth or a new chapter in your career, public image, or role. Finally, we do end off the month on a very passionate note for you, although it could be a little bit destabilizing at first, so just beware that emotions could be running high, particularly at the end of October. If you're excited for this month's reading and you're not already subscribed, then this is the month to do it. I'm very likely to rebrand either in October or in the very near future. So if you want to make sure that you are always up to date with what's in the cards for you, then definitely be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the bell notification. I get comments and messages from you each and every month saying that you haven't seen me for some time, you haven't seen my videos, and that you've missed me. And the truth is, I've missed you as well. I've actually been uploading since over a year ago again after taking a bit of a break. I still haven't gotten everybody back, so if you do support this channel, it not only helps me continue to put out messages for all of you, but also reach people who are still looking for it, for people who still need them, and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. For those of you who are new to this channel, it's great to have you. My name is Michael, and I utilize tarot and tropical astrology to intuit monthly forecasts for your zodiac sign. I also have links in the description of this video for personal readings and distance Reiki sessions. I will never DM you or send you a message or leave you a comment to solicit my services. Anyone who's doing this is just a fake account, so you can just report and block them. You can also follow all of my actual social media using the links in the description of this video. That way you're sure that you are following me. Now, let's get into October reading. I'm very curious to see what we have this month for you. So while I'm shuffling the cards for you, Capricorn, I am going to talk a little bit more in depth about the astrology. Um, we do have Pluto going direct in your sign. And I think this is the first hint of October being a very impactful month, followed by two eclipses. Um, but with Pluto going direct in your sign, this is really what's telling me you are undergoing some sort of transformative process. And honestly, anyone with Capricorn has had a very transformative and even challenging 20-year cycle. And I know that sounds like a really long time, but that's when Pluto first entered into your sign. And so anyone with Capricorn placements has really been going through this kind of spiritual evolution or just letting go of a lot of things, releasing things. And we are actually wrapping up this cycle. Pluto actually touched into Aquarius for the first time this year, and it will continue to kind of dance between the two signs until I believe 2025, when it is firmly in Aquarius once and for all. But we, we are finishing up a challenging cycle for you. And I already feel like you've had this kind of phoenix rising from the ashes moment. Maybe you're having another one of those again in October. Um, I definitely feel like you are opening up with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. You are letting go of something. You are lowering your guard or walls. Uh, when I really look at this Four of Pentacles, I see this person guarding their heart. And so I feel like you are showing the world the real you. Maybe this is energy that you've been in. Um, and also not holding on as much. Maybe even being a little spendy. Maybe you've had a big expense in the month of September as well. But I really do see this more emotional for me. Um, I, I see this Four of Pentacles as you lowering your guard. Um... Exactly. The Two of Cups. You have been having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with people. You have been really having important conversations, getting to the heart of a matter. And that's something that you've been doing in September, especially if this reading is for you. That's kind of your sign. If this is resonating so far, then the rest of this reading is probably for you. But you've had to have some big conversations or recognize the ways that you might hold yourself back from your own connections, maybe even making a commitment to yourself or to another person. Ooh, and you have been doing your shadow work, Capricorn. We have the devil. And it's actually interesting that this is one of your indicator cards because the devil represents Saturn. And again, Pluto is very shadowy. It's the planet of death rebirth, transformation, and being in your sign, you really have gone through a rebirthing process. And I feel like 
with this shift that's about to take place in October, some of you have already been working through some self-limiting beliefs or some thought patterns or behavior patterns that just aren't serving you anymore. And I feel like you're undoing a lot of really heavy and negative conditioning. Although for some of you, you are still in this process, but you're just becoming more aware of it. You're getting a handle on these things. Um, maybe some of you are talking to a therapist or talking to some sort of mentor. I really do get the sense you've had a breakthrough or you are having a breakthrough in October here. But yeah, we, we see some celebration with the Four of Wands. You are celebrating something. And this really could be indicated with a new career or um, some sort of success, some sort of recognition. You are being celebrated in some way, particularly around the 14th with a new moon solar eclipse in Libra. Um, and some of the shadow work you've been doing has been around your worth. I'm actually getting imposter syndrome. Some of you have been feeling like an imposter or like people don't see the real you and if only they knew, but I think it is well warranted. Whatever it is that you are receiving praise or accolades for or whatever it is that you are stepping into in the month of October, I do feel like it is a worthy celebration of how far you have come. And as I say that, the Six of Wands, yes, you are being celebrated this month. And you might have a lot of weird feelings about that because I feel like you are very successful this month. Or you've achieved something that feels really good. Or you're figuring out what are the achievements that actually feel good to me. We do have the Page of Wands. This is actually showing up in the reverse position, which is interesting. Why is the Page of Wands here? Okay, Justice in reverse. This kind of feels like another person's energy. I, I feel like with Justice in reverse, maybe something isn't fully reciprocated or something isn't on equal terms. Someone is giving more than receiving. I feel like someone... To be honest with you, this actually kind of makes sense with the astrology. Um, some of you could be letting go of a very casual person in your life. Uh, maybe even a Libra energy um, could also be fire sign energy. So Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, I feel like with the lunar eclipse at the end of this month, some of you are ending a very casual connection because you want something more. You're ready for a heart to heart. And some for those of you who have been in a situation where maybe you're attached to someone who isn't able to show up for you in relationship the way that you want them to, you could be letting them go. You know you deserve better. And, and this is a very specific message, so it's certainly not for all of you. Um, but I feel like if there is anyone who's like, honestly, kind of just like a, a hookup person or a very casual person, I, I feel like this is going to be falling away. Um, because it's not actually what you want anymore. Seven of Wands, you're becoming more selective with who you are sharing your energy with. And if this isn't talking about a specifically sexual connection, then this could be another sort of connection where someone um, isn't really delivering in some way, um, is not impeccable with their word. And I, I don't even think that this is necessarily deceptive, maybe it is for some of you, but it almost feels like someone doesn't know themselves. Someone kind of goes from thing to thing. There's a lot of passion and excitement and then it, like very distracted, very distractible. Um, feels like someone who's kind of coming and going, 
in your life and I feel like you are putting up more of a boundary. You are defending yourself more with the seven of wands. Um, I'm also hearing the message that some of you, interesting. Some of you could be getting a promotion and it's like you are being attacked or like someone's almost sending negative energy your way because they don't think that you deserved it or you haven't been working there as long or something like that. But I do feel like you have the skill. Um, I feel like someone is actually upset by your success. And that's very telling. When you are succeeding in life and people are triggered by that in some way, um, it, it tells you a lot about the quality of that person or at least this relationship that you have. Um, but yeah, I feel like you are being celebrated and someone is feeling defensive or jealous. I actually could see this energy in reverse for a couple of you, if I'm being honest. Maybe there's someone who seems to have been favored unfairly with justice in reverse. Judgment. Yeah, there's some big moves, some big decisions that are happening this month. I feel like... Things are very much falling into place. And if you're in the right place, you're going to know. And if you're not in the right place anymore, you're also going to know. There's just very obvious things that are coming up. Um, and I mean, with the judgment card, it's like, yes, this can bring people back from the past. It can bring things back from the past. But actually, I see this more as like... Kind of the review, period. Um, making decisions once and for all. So I feel like you have some big decisions to make in October. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below what these decisions are. But I feel like you are just seeing things very clearly. You're seeing the shadows of things very clearly as well. And just because there are some, I guess, unintegrated or shadowy aspects into why someone wants something or wants you, there's like... A light side and a shadow side to everything, right? It's kind of just seeing both of these things objectively and making a fully informed decision. But I feel like true colors are being shown. And again, I think a lot of it has to do with how well do people respond to you doing well. Four of Cups, this actually came out perfectly sideways. Um, so it kind of feels like there's something that's crossing you here. Um, yeah, I really feel like there's this energy around you, Capricorn, where... There's almost this scarcity mentality where it's like, if you're doing well, then there's not enough for me. Or I'm not good enough. Something like that. Like, I'm getting that from the people around you. Um, the chariot. Maybe a cancer energy is at play here, but I feel like you're being very direct and intentional with your energy and the direction you're going in. And there are people around you who don't operate that way. Maybe you haven't been operating that way. And now that you've shift your kind of operating system, so to speak, it might be off putting to some people. And it's like, there's this miscommunication, things aren't lining up, things, it's just weird. Like, there could be 
unexpected relationships that kind of end or change. Um, but I still see this as a positive thing because I feel like you are stepping up in a really important way, Capricorn. I feel like people are threatened by you. And you have more good things coming with the three of wands. You see the growth. You see the future. I feel like a lot of you have like a six month plan, a one year plan, a five year plan. Like that's something that could be really helpful. But I feel like you've already been making moves and you're starting to see things come together in a way for you. And that's why you're not so bothered by whatever this drama is. I really get that. Um, because you have bigger things to take care of or to look forward to. And you are working very hard, very directly, you know, not averting your gaze. You're very focused with the Knight of Pentacles. And that's kind of what I mean. Like, I, I felt like you have a long-term plan that you are working towards that definitely feels confirmed to me with the Knight of Pentacles. So any long-term plans that you are enacting or working towards in the month of October, I do feel like there is a strong support from the universe on whatever it is that you are physically doing or creating. And as I say creating, we do have the Knight of Cups here as well. I do feel like some of you are creating something or making something. You're making your future. You're making something maybe creatively um, or artistically. And I, I do feel like... You're just very steady, very stable. Anything else for Capricorn? Anything else for Capricorn? What is going on in relationships for you? Wow, okay. The Empress and the Ten of Cups. You're very focused on long-term relationships, on family-like relationships. Um, knowing your worth with the Empress here, I really get the sense that by being so true to yourself and to your values and to your own integrity, you are lining up with a lot of beautiful things and, and harmonizing with people in a new way. Um, I honestly feel like this is a great omen for your relationships. I know I was talking a bit about, um, like kind of casual relationships or, or something that's not really emotionally fulfilling. I feel like you are stepping into much more fulfilling relationships. And that could be because you are meeting someone, maybe a Libra or Taurus energy, um, you could be embodying this energy yourself and knowing your worth and that's drawing people in. There is something here that's shifting in your relationships that feels incredibly positive. And I mean, we do have two eclipses in Venus ruled signs, which is what the Empress represents. The Empress is the planet Venus, which we can see on the shield here. Um, we have the new moon eclipse in Libra the solar eclipse, and we also have the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus. And with all of this Venus energy, kind of collectively, there there is this knowing your worth. What What is giving back to me? Where is the reciprocity in my life? Are these relationships, situations really sustainable for me? Um, and I think you are coming into very sustainable relationships. I really see this as like marriage for some of you, actually. Maybe some of you are, are defining a relationship and it's going to the next level. This is actually another way that this could look. And this is why we have to disclaim that these are general messages because clearly not all of these are meant for you. But I do feel for many of you, 
you are moving in a positive direction in your relationships. How that looks is going to be dependent on your exact situations. But I really do feel like there is happiness, there is contentment, there is fulfillment. Um, I feel like some of you who are focused on having a family or want to have a family in whatever way that means to you, um, there's something really beautiful happening here. There's like good news. There could even be maybe someone having, uh, again, general reading, but that someone could be announcing a pregnancy or you could be pregnant. I'm actually getting that with this Empress and Ten of Cups. Um, really specifically seeing the children with the way that this Empress is falling over the Ten of Cups. Um, for others of you, this is just like a very creative energy or a very creative time. It's very fertile. Um, but, you know, really thinking about relationships, I think this is just beautiful, beautiful, long-term happiness here. So I, I do feel like there is a loving connection in the cards for you. Or maybe multiple with the Ten of Cups. Because love can look so many different ways. What else? What are the animal messages for Capricorn? Cheetah. Yeah, you're just going straight for what it is that you want. Um, and I feel like you have become very aligned looking at the chariot here. Because sometimes when the cheetah comes up, it's sort of like, you need to look before you leap because once you start going, things will happen very quickly. Um, but I feel like you're already very aligned and you're just going for it. You're following your purpose. You're following your passion. You're following the things that excite you. Some of you really are just like a star this month. I, I, I have to say it. And like, it's drawing in the right people and maybe pissing off the wrong people <laughs> is a good way to think of this. Yeah, the elk. Very, very stable. Very much providing and nurturing the things that you care about. That's the thing, like, you, you have some success or you are working towards success that's not just for you, Capricorn. It benefits other people. Very, very stable energy here. Almost giving me Emperor vibes. Anything else for Capricorn? Anything else for Capricorn? We do also have the High Priestess. Trusting in your intuition. Um, I feel like the truth comes when you're no longer looking for it. You're just seeing things very clearly because... You're not in this reactive, defensive energy anymore. And you're trusting your intuition. You're trusting in your spirit. You're trusting in the guidance you are getting. You can trust your discernment. Again, the High Priestess can also be like a fertility thing. So I do feel like fertility, children, that could be something that some of you are thinking about or there's something that's happening in that area of your life. Um, obviously not everyone wants kids or is interested in that, so take that if it resonates. Um, but for others of you, it could very well just represent a spiritual creativity or fertility, something that you are birthing, something that you are creating, something that is your baby. And it feels like legacy to me. Legacy is a really big theme for you this month. Any other messages? I thought I was done, but I think I'm going to pull one more Oracle card for you. What is the Moonology Oracle card for Capricorn in the month of October? Wow. New Moon Eclipse. Expect powerful change. There are just really profound new beginnings. I mean, we literally do have a new moon eclipse, and it's in your fellow cardinal sign, Libra. And so this is impacting a very important area of your life for you, your career, or your public image, your legacy. Um, there are some very big changes that are taking place. There are very important new beginnings, and it's important to go in the direction that your spirit is telling you to you are very likely going to feel compelled to make some change in the month of October. That actually applies to everybody, just with Pluto going direct, the eclipses, Scorpio season. Um, 
there's a lot that's happening here. And I think that is everything. Um, I hope that this was helpful for you, Capricorn. Definitely be sure to hit like and subscribe, especially if you've made it this far. If you would like to do a personal reading or distance Reiki session with me, you can find the link to my website in the description of this video. I also do astrology readings, so if you are curious specifically how this eclipse is going to manifest for you, maybe there's something there that could be helpful. We could work together and figure that out. Um, I have all of my links for my social media accounts. You're also welcome to check out the other videos, maybe for your moon or rising sign. And I will see you next time. Take care, Capricorn, and have a happy and blessed October.